welcome back to my fishing YouTube channel. Um, so, yeah, I came back from Yeranga, it was a good trip. I didn't really make any outros just because I was pretty busy. My family's going places and whatnot. But, when I went to Motackle, I bought this Atomic Arrow Skinny Water fishing rod, which is pretty, it's pretty light tackle. I've got a surface on there, nice Diawa reel, the Xella LT 2500D. But yeah, it's a pretty, pretty neat outfit. I got it for a reasonable price, so yeah, we'll chuck that around the banks today, see if we can't get some whiting or some brim. But yeah, um, the conditions are pretty, pretty um, overcast, there's a little bit of rain, but that won't stop us. We'll still go out there and try and get it some big ones. So yeah, anyways, I'll keep you guys updated and just watching. See you soon. Alright guys, I was stumbling across and as you can see, there's a big flatty mark here. It's a, it's a decent flatty. But yeah, and there's a few along this bank, so... Um, keep a look out. But yeah, slow tide as you can see. A lot of mullet hanging around, so... Plenty of bait. But yeah, I think I'm going to move up to the flats, because... That's where we have the most luck in summertime, so yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Alright guys, so what I've done here is, um, there's a little bit of flat here and the current looks decent, so I'm thinking there's a few things around. So I got this little tailor on the, on the old sugar pen, but I'm hoping there's a few brim around as well. There he is, little tailor. Let him go, let him grow. Right. Yeah, keep you guys updated. Whoa! I missed it, but I just looked in something big. He was out there. I don't know what it was, but it's a good hookup. Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated. Just looked in something a little bit bigger. I'd say it's a brim. Yeah, just a little brim, a little flat brim. Yeah, very cute little fish. Yeah, very cool looking fish. Let him go, let him grow. All right, Let's see if we can't get that monster. I'll keep you guys updated. Guys, managed to catch something here, but it's on the bottom on the weeds. So you can't coax it out. Ah, oh, unlucky. Lost him. But they're out here. This setup's great. Like the sugar pen, this reel, this rod, this rod's so light, like I've got eight pound running, so but yeah, it's unbelievably light. Just cast so far. It's, it's a good time. Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated. I thought I was safe from these people, but apparently not. Still come out when it's raining. Look at this. Your tails are brutal, man. If you give these things legs and arms, it's basically a dinosaur. Look at it. It's like barely the size of the sugar pen. It smashed it. Yeah, these guys are scary. There's like, they got the sharp teeth. That's what dinosaur would look like, but like the face. Anyway, he's going back down. Anyway, some big ones in here, so I'll keep at it. It's something small here. Oh, it's another tailor. Man, these guys are savages out here today. Oh, just my camera's wonky. Oh, there he goes. Alright, guys, just looked into something a bit bigger. It felt bigger. Another little brim on the sugar pen. Oh. Just a little guy, but yeah, they're out there. There he goes. 
Oh, I've got something. I think it's a Taylor. Oh, yeah, Taylor. Right, nothing special. All right, guys. A little update. Found this little channel. We moved spots. The other spot was just a lot of people were traveling through it. So um, anyway, I, ch I went to more to the flats. I've got this little prawn imitation sort of shallow diver. I think it's floating as well. So. I think it's better for this, this little channel out here. So we'll fish here and then see what happens. But anyway, I'll keep you guys updated. All right guys, first fish at this spot. It's an all right size flatty. It's not too bad. It applies out for this one. Spiky guy. Anyway, yeah, there he is, if you can get a good look. Probably around pushing 40. Yeah, maybe just 40 or something like that. Just the same common sand flatted. This one. I think I might take this to shore. A bit aggressive. Actually, no, I can do it here. Calm down, buddy. But yeah, no, a very pretty fish. See all the details on him. There he goes, bumps right into me. Yeah, that's a, that's a good little flatty. So this spot, because I'm just thinking, right, I, th I figured there'll be flatty here anyway, because um, all the water's it's coming high tide. I wanted to walk to the island, but I couldn't, because it's coming high tide, so um, I get stuck over there. So yeah, just looking where the water's rushing, it's all rushing here, so it's probably a few things around. But anyway, I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, see you soon. Alright guys, I uh, changed spots into more of the middle river area and I'm using a Jackson bottom magic. Switched up the law, you'll see it in a second. Whoa. It's, it's not too bad. Just a small flatty, around the same size as before. But yeah, I was doubting this spot of magic because I was all up at the top half of the the opening. The guys fishing here before, I don't know why they didn't catch this one, but anyway. Let's bring him to shore. Take a good look at him. Oh well, he's not hooked very good. There he is. Pretty, pretty nice fish. It's my foot. Probably yeah, a bit smaller than the last one, but still it's a nice fish. So there, this lure, let me just straighten my camera up real quick. So this is a lure, it's like a, just like the head sinks on the bottom, the bottom's heavy, but it just pops up and down like that on the bottom. So it looks like a whiting or something on the bottom. But yeah, get this guy back. Oh, he's thick. Yeah, no, not, not a bad fish. 
Let him go, let him go. Let's see, let's see what else we can catch. Keep you guys updated. All right, guys, the bites are crazy with this lure. Seriously, I just chucked it in on second cast and had a good hit. I lost him, but he was big. Here, anyway, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, guys, a recap of the beach. I think the beach has been really strongly overfished recently. So it's like, I got two decent flatties, so I'm not complaining, but it's like, I was expecting a lot more, like fished everywhere around here. But it's coming high tide now. That means there's probably more stuff coming in, but in this spot, but I mean, there's just a few flatties. I'm going to try the other spot and try and see if I can get a nice brim or something, but yeah. Anyway, this spot, it's, it's a good spot, but because the opening's open, I can't walk across and show you guys the other places, but I just, that just means I need to get my kayak out and go there instead in my kayak. So but yeah, that's an adventure for another day, but yeah, it's pretty, as you can see the tourists are being creative, doing little wooden things and whatnot. But yeah, anyway, I'll keep you guys updated. All right guys, I'm not sure you can see him, but right down below me is some brim just biting my legs really small ones but kind of hurts be crazy little guys i'm not sure if the glare's too much but yeah that's schools of bait fish right here as well so Let's see what happens all right guys cheers for watching um wasn't too eventful we caught some small things and we got a couple of, like all right flatties and that was a good day the water was super clear which made it probably a bit harder i thought it'd be a bit better for the brim but the tide didn't quite get high enough, I don't think, and it's not really that dark, so, um, yeah, a bit unfortunate there wasn't more around. But anyway, yeah, this rod combo, sugar pen, so good, um, cast so far, um, yeah, definitely gets bites, it's a, it's a good day out. Anyway guys, cheers for watching, and I'll see you guys soon, I'll make some more videos, I've been pretty busy. I said beforehand in my last videos but um yeah i'll get to making more videos and it'll be good i'm gonna take this rod overseas so i'll go fishing overseas and that'll be an adventure proper proper fishing adventures so yeah anyway i'll keep you guys updated and cheers for watching all right cheers